I'm not gonna waste time opening a Skyflakes because the Aprilia RS660 automatically gets five out of six squares. If you've been riding sport bikes for a while, you already know that slow bikes are actually way more fun to ride than fast bikes. The 660 doesn't have the most power, but it does have enough power. And where it lacks horsepower, it actually makes up in torque. When you're comparing it to the Yamaha R6, which is arguably the 600cc king, max torque in the R6 is about 45 foot-pounds at 10,500 RPM. The RS660 has 50 foot-pounds at 8,500 RPMs. It even weighs 16 pounds lighter than the R6. Horsepower isn't fucking everything. The Aprilia RS660 has an electronic system identical to the flagship 1100 RSV4 factory. It has a six axis IMU that aids traction control, wheelie control, and cornering ABS. This fucking thing even has cruise control. One of my favorite features about the RS660, which I don't think any 600cc has at the moment, is the quick shifter and auto blipper. If you don't know what an auto blipper is, it basically rev matches so you can downshift without the clutch. It also has the gimmicky shit like the Aprilia Mia, which is like Apple CarPlay or Sync. Essentially, you can connect your smartphone to your bike. It's almost like what the 2020 BMW S1000RR M package is, but in a smaller package. The technology is just there. The styling is on point. I love it. It's like a mini Aprilia RS V4. I think it has really subtle winglets too. It's not as pronounced as the RS V4's winglets are. But come on, OEM winglets in a middle class sport bike. This bike's been out for over a year and it's already proven itself as a race bred championship winning bike. Aprilia dominated the Moto America Twins Cup. You might be thinking Aprilia, ooh, big deal. They won a championship. But this is Aprilia's first middle class super sport. And this is their first year in the Twins Cup. In fact, the top four bikes in Moto America's Twin Cups all RS 660s. Alright, now I'm gonna come down to the reason why I didn't give it a perfect score. It's the price for me. In retrospect, the RS 660's price actually isn't that bad. But since it's so new, it's really hard to find a good deal, even on the used market. For not a lot more money, I had options of buying bikes with Olin suspension, double the power, and forged wheels. And if I would've picked up the RS 660, I also plan to upgrade the suspension and wheels. It just didn't make financial sense if I were to buy the bike and set it up the way I wanted. If you're considering buying the RS 660, just know, I'm fucking jealous of you. The Aprilia RS660 is one hell of a bike, period.